You only live once. Do not die of rabies. Mr. Chingluwan, a 45-year-old farmer, is terrified. He is unable to breathe. A little breeze brings on painful spasm that leave him gasping. Suki, an 8-year-old child, is confused. She cannot understand why her mother is crying and her father so sullen. She is also scared and feels so much pain. Why are they in this condition? What are they suffering from? Both are the victims of the dreaded disease, rabies, commonly known as hydrophobia. Rabies is an ancient disease known to mankind for centuries. It is caused by a bullet-shaped virus that is transmitted to man by bite, lick or scratch of an infected animal. In Asia, rabies is transmitted most commonly by dog. The disease exists in the wild among different animals and spreads to domestic animals through bite and thereon to man. The unfortunate fact of rabies is that once a human develops this disease, there is no cure. An agonizing and painful death is the only exit. Every year globally, 55,000 die from this dreadful disease. 31,000, that is 56%, are from Asia and 24,000, 44%, from Africa. The problem is maximum in India where 20,000 rabies deaths occur annually. China 3,000, Pakistan 2,490, Bangladesh 1,550, Philippines 248, Myanmar 196, Vietnam 86, Sri Lanka 76, Nepal 44, Indonesia 40, Thailand 11, Cambodia 2, Laos 2 and Mongolia 2. How does this disease develop in man? Once a rabid animal bites, the virus in its saliva enters the body, multiplies and enters the nerve. It travels through the spinal cord and reaches the brain. This is the beginning of the end as the rabies virus is also called a bullet that never fails. The affected person's throat muscles are paralyzed and when he tries to drink water, it causes painful spasm. Later, sound or even sight of water leads to painful spasms and this condition is called hydrophobia or fear of water. Even a slight breeze may cause painful spasms. This is called aerophobia or fear of air. Sometimes bright light triggers spasms and this is called photophobia or fear of light. These three conditions are unique features of rabies. Water, light and air which are life sustaining have now become the rabies victims mortal enemies. Some rabies victims even show violent behavior for a short period of time. Once the person manifests the disease, death is inevitable in three to five days. How could these horrible deaths be prevented? Once a person is bitten, he must gently wash the wound with soap and water for about 15 minutes. Apply antiseptics to the wound and visit a doctor and receive rabies immunoglobulin which is injected into the wound. The rabies immunoglobulin are life-saving. He should also receive rabies vaccine which is a course of five injections administered into the muscle. Or four injections of the vaccine administered into the skin. One should remember 
that there is no single shot vaccine and always take the complete course of vaccination. Certain dangerous practices like applying plant juices, herbal remedies, irritants, bandaging, suturing the wounds and magical religious remedies should never be done as these increase the chances of the person developing rabies. So where did Mr. Chingluwang and Suki go wrong? Let's go back in time. Mr. Chingluwang, a farmer, was completely ignorant of rabies. He was bitten by a dog while playing with it. He should have washed the wound, instead applied plant extract. He went to the doctor who advised a course of vaccination. But Mr. Chingluwan took only one shot and discontinued as he could not afford the full course of vaccine. Instead, he resorted to magical religious and herbal remedies which were not effective. Rise of these mistakes was Mr. Chingluan's life. Suki loved to play with dog. When bitten, she didn't disclose it to her parents, fearing reprimand. This one mistake out of fear cost her innocent young life. Does this mean everyone bitten by the rabid animals will die? Certainly not. Let us now see the case of Mr. Mithun. He is health conscious and a dog lover. One day on his morning walk, a dog bit on his hand. He immediately washed the wound with soap and water. He went to a doctor where the wounds were washed with soap and water for about 15 minutes. The doctor applied antiseptics on the wounds. He was administered rabies immunoglobulin into the wounds. The doctor started him on a course of vaccination. Mr. Mithun completed the course of five injections over a month. Two years later, Mr. Mithun continues to be hale and hearty. So we now know that rabies is a dangerous disease and prevention is the best way forward. For centuries, dog has remained one of the best friend and savior of man. The pet owners should procure the pups through approved dog breeders and ensure regular veterinary consultation. They shall keep the dog under leash in public places and ensure its periodic vaccination against rabies. Parents must encourage children to inform when they are bitten by dog or cat. One should not feed stray dogs but instead adopt them. The problem of stray dogs 
can be effectively managed through humane and scientific methods of catching, sterilization, vaccination and release, popularly known as Animal Birth Control or ABC program. The sick and rabid animals are humanely euthanized. The Animal Welfare Organization play a great role in supporting the community and governmental efforts for an effective management of stray dog population. Following a dog bite, proper anti-rabies treatment consists of washing of wound with soap and water, applying an antiseptic and administering rabies immunoglobulin into the wounds along with a full course of vaccination, either five doses of intramuscular or four doses of intradermal, which are life-saving. It is dangerous to resort to applying irritants into the wounds and practice magical religious and herbal remedies. In rabies-affected areas of Asia, Africa and other regions, it is recommended that persons at risk of rabies like veterinarians, dog catchers, postal and courier personnel, school children, pet owners and their family members take regular preventive vaccination against rabies. Persons traveling from rabies-free area to rabies affected area may also receive preventive vaccination. In conclusion, if Mr. Chingluan, Suki and others bitten by rabid animals take prompt action like Mr. Mithun, deaths due to rabies could be prevented. Remember, you only live once. Do not die of rabies.